Anna, I'm not going. This is 13 Reasons Why. I'm oh, not going. God. Not now. 13 Reasons. Not Welcome ever. to your tape. I'm not going. Not now. Not ever. Why didn't you say this to me when I was alive? Well, yep. Yeah. I've my seen it. I, my husband and I, we never got a note. Oh. Okay. This kills me. This gets me to tears. Hey, it's Hannah. Hannah Baker. Hannah oh, Baker. Poor Clay. I'm about to tell you the story of my life. Very dramatic. More specifically, why my life ended. Mm. And if you're listening to this tape, you're one of the reasons why. You're one of the reasons why. Whatever. Oh my God. She saw. She lied about it on those tapes because she's a crazy drama queen. Dude. Who just killed herself for attention. It's messed up. Secrets, Mrs. Baker. Hannah's secrets are what killed her. Yeah, with the suicide, that's pretty controversial. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll never know why you did what you did. But I can make you understand how it felt. This is a wild game of survival. Yeah, 13. I watched it. I watched all of it. It kind of relates to real life because a lot of kids are, you know, committing suicide, being cyber bullied or being bullied physically. You get your toy space just for you. Get off me. I'm not saying anything. Second? F off. Toxic masculinity Third. right there. Third? Okay, assholes. Picture's worth a thousand words. Oh, not cool. <laughs> That's hot. Dude, what a jerk. Oh, yeah, we're sending that shit around. No, Such a no, dickhead right. move. Oh, my God. Seriously, Justin? People phones, otherwise they're going away. Last no, chance. no, no, no. Thank you. And uh, Oh God, it's so upsetting. Yeah. Seeing that in my my own school, unfortunately. I could imagine being in high school with the cell phones. This is the worst thing about growing up in the age of technology. Nothing's private. That's real. That really happens with kids. We've had issues or, or things we've been concerned about with, with students where I work, you know, trying to make sure that they know what's appropriate. They don't know. There's parts of the show that made me really mad, that made me feel like it was glamorized and glossed over. Um, and then there were parts of the show that I really felt like started conversations that we'd never had before. Did you tell them to stop? No. Did you tell them no? Mm. Ugh. No. This is so heartbreaking. Maybe you can sense it and you change your mind. No, it's not like that. Oh my gosh. Should we involve your parents or the police? No. If you don't want to press charges against this boy, if you're not even sure you can press charges, I let him get away with it. Then there really is only one option. What's the option? I'm not trying to be blunt here, Hannah, but you can move on. How can you move on? You can move on. You can't move on. That's not really mean, an option. You mean... Nice counselor. Do nothing. If you won't confront him... I can't hear. Then the only other choice is to move on. Be a good little girl and go away. I need to move on and get over it. And then I didn't say get over it, but sometimes that's the only other option. That's not true. No, there is another option. Okay, I know. Hey, Hannah, you can sit down. You don't need to be in a hurry. I need to get on with things, Mr. Porter. If things aren't going to change, then I just better get on with it, right? Okay. Hey, H Hannah. The other option is let's sit down and have a dialogue. This is a peer counselor, I'm assuming. This is somebody in a respected role whose job it is to help these people. A lot of kids, they don't know that there are some laws and regulations counselors cannot cross. You know, unfortunately, it's a loophole in our system. It's painful to watch. I've had students come to me with some pretty heavy stuff. I even had a kid yesterday just that he got thrown against the lockers was in tears and I'm like, you need to tell somebody. Look at these lockers. They all look alike, right? Not this one. It's Hannah's. This one is special. It belonged to a girl who killed herself. Craig, come on. Yeah, they don't want to talk about kill. it. You see all these don't kill yourself posters up on the wall? Yeah, suicide prevention. They weren't up before. They put them up because she killed herself. And why did she do it? Because the kids here treated her like shit. Jensen, that's You know what, enough. mental no illness is why so she did it, actually. But no one wants to admit it, so they paint over the bathrooms and put up a memorial because that's the kind of school that this is. Everyone is just so nice, and so they drive you to kill yourself. And sooner or later, the truth will come out. He's right. It's absolutely right. It's a touchy subject, obviously. It's portraying what bullying can do. On the other side, I can see why people are complaining that it glorifies suicide. It's so important to talk about these things because we don't talk about it. I worked in the news for five years. We never ever do a story on a suicide because it spawns more suicide. Sadly, 
people think to get this kind of attention, the fear is that this will spawn more behavior like that. And that terrifies me. The suicide aspect of it kind of worries me. My daughter, who's uh, in eighth grade, has, has watched the whole series and stuff, and we've talked a little bit about it too. It's good for us to talk about it. I'm glad that it's something that, you know, it kind of creates conversations. I don't know why it makes me tear up. I don't think that parents realize the pressure that they're putting on their kids now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It just breaks my heart. We need to really address bullying. We don't take action until it's too late. Well, recently we had the teens cast here react to the show as well. Yeah. We wanted to show you some of their thoughts. Okay, how, yeah, how do they feel about it? So for you, are the issues that the characters from the show go through something that you can personally relate to? I'm now interested to find out about this. Now that social media is major, like, it, right? That's where I mean. Social media. People can like comment about people's photos, like, oh, they're ugly, they shouldn't have posted that. Being on a web series, there are a lot of comments, so that's yeah. kind of the You put yourself out there I've when you're on adults react or kids react or teens react, for sure. Someone in my like class, I think it was a year or two years ago, actually killed themselves. When I first oh, started geez. watching We the all show, know someone who's I, ended their life, sadly. It was, when I first started watching the show, I. Like, it was really relatable, because I, I saw how, like, everyone in the show was was not aware of everything that they did until things happened, and I think that exactly. was kind of relevant to what happened at my school. Like, right. everyone all of a sudden cared. That's interesting that he thinks that the awareness is really important. I totally agree with him, because a lot of suicide happened because we do not pay attention to the very finest details, and I think he relates to that because he had a similar experience with it. Each kid kind of took their own, what they could from it. You know, Seth had gone through it before, and he had gone through it with his school, so he's gonna take something out of it. Everybody all of a sudden cares. And then what happens when that caring goes away, you still have kids that are struggling with it. So there have been concerns from many, including psychologists, who feel that this show should not be watched by young people. Some of the many reasons are that they feel that it romanticizes the concept of suicide and looks like a revenge fantasy. And could I, make young I agree that suicide leads to I could see a lot of girls glorifying that for the most part, her um, behavior. I do Look at the attention it it's gotten me. Everyone will think about me now. I do think it almost glorifies the whole See, situation. See, that's the other side. Which is like terrible to say. After I, after I watched it, I was definitely not contemplating anything. I was not thinking revenge is the best way to go. I was thinking we need to stop this. Yeah. And I think it was more of a public service announcement saying, Yeah, you know, exactly. Bullying, bullying can happen anywhere. With this show, it's, it's an awareness. Yeah. You, you never know what someone could be going through at home. You should right. really pay attention to it and the message behind it. Yeah, I, I, I agree that he just said, pay attention to it, the message, the message behind it. They're blinding themselves to the thing of going, oh, you're glorifying suicide. Wait a minute, why isn't someone sending a thing home going, hey, you should watch this because if your kid's a bully, this really points out what repercussions can come from that. I'd be a fool if I didn't realize or think that I haven't had contact with um, teenagers that have had feelings, suicidal feelings, for sure. I understand the concern about like romanticizing it. Death is so final, and you will, you will never know the consequences of what you've done or how you destroyed people around you, for sure. It's great that you had the teenagers react, because then it's teen to teen. So now you have us as parents reacting, and hopefully, you know, when we talk about it, you know, whoever's watching it, whether it be a teen or maybe a teen with their parents, they can understand that the parents have to be involved. So these were all clips from the Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why. So have you seen the show at all? I haven't seen it. I just watched a little, uh, you know, clips and my daughter showing me. I have not seen the show, uh, but I know about all the issues that are going on uh, around the show. I've seen the first two episodes. To be honest, it's just too hard to watch. I watched with my 16-year-old daughter and my 17-year-old son. And watching it with them was, um, really opened up the door for some interesting conversations all about, you know, everything from bullying to, you know, um, rape and what is consent and suicide. Yes, the reason that there's such a 
outrage or whatever from parents is because it's putting a mirror in front of their faces of saying, these are the issues that your kids are dealing with that you're not. We got an email from, from our son's school that said, hey, this is being talked about and, and watched. Parents are thrown a stink. It glorifies suicide. The funny thing is, is I asked my son, I said, are people talking about this show? And he's like, sometimes, a little bit. The talk amongst their, their age group is not really that significant. The talk is significant around parents. No, I've heard about it. The uh, junior high I teach at, like the kids were all talking about it. One of my former kids committed suicide this year. And so we've had, we had three suicides at our high school and one uh, attempted. And one of them was a kid I've known since he was a toddler. We've been going through this specific thing in our district this year. So the show deals with topics such as bullying, the objectification of women, sexual assault, and ultimately suicide. And these are heavy issues that the show portrays as happening in high school. Do you feel these are issues teens today have to face? Absolutely. It actually is growing worse and worse with all the social media, exactly like what, what we've seen. For sure, especially in this day and age with phones. I read somewhere that it's become more more prevalent nowadays than just regular bullying because the person that cyber bulls can hide. Kids, teens are having all kinds of conversations with each other. Now it's all private, it's all personal, and anything can happen. Of course, and thanks to 13 Reasons Why, we've been talking a lot about suicide, mental illness, which is not really portrayed in this, which I think is a real misstep because that factors in. It's pretty realistic. The kids that I, I know and work with and, and teach and, and care about are, are um, they're under a lot of pressure. The adults that are supposed to be there for them and help them, uh, the, the, the scene with the counselor where he's rushed and the phone is ringing and there's a lot going on, and but he's still wanting to do what's best for her, Hannah, as she's walking out of the room, I, I can relate to that. If parents are like, my kid would never talk like that, then they're fooling themselves. <laughs> I mean, you know, just with language and behavior and my first year in junior high, kids were sending pictures around of girls and stuff like that, that we were having to like, nip in the bud. And from your perspective as a parent, is 13 Reasons Why okay for young people to watch? I think it is okay for young people to watch. I don't think it glorifies suicide. I think there's an age group. I don't think that someone that is impressionable um, should be watching the show. Parents should watch it with their teen. Uh, regardless of what the teen thinks um, or the parent thinks, they should watch it together. As long as there's communication, I think it's fine. My daughter who's getting ready to start high school, yeah, it's it's good for her to, to, to watch and to talk about. Um, my daughter who's getting ready to start middle school, I definitely wouldn't want her to watch it by herself. I would like to be there with her. It gives them feelings and emotions they can definitely relate to. If there is a time where a parent and a kid would sit down and watch this episode, then this would create a conversation between the parent and the kid. And this is a healthy discussion. I love anything that sparks debate and sparks conversation because it's just an avenue to learn and grow. However, I, I do think there needs to be an age limit on when certain information is disseminated to our kids. I agree completely with my son's policy of his middle school of asking that parents either watch it with their child or not they'll let them watch it if they can't. It's interesting, because I've thought about this one a lot. If you can get someone to reflect on their actions based on this show, you know, if they've bullied someone, if they've treated someone poorly, and make a change or an apology or just smile at someone and say good morning just to mix it up, I mean, I think then you made a difference.